contentment better than gain. Behold the man who is contented with the portion God allows him. He hath a continual feast. He knows no real scarcity, for the Lord doth bless him, so that oft has he found a scanty fare for one has been a royal feast for two. A man's life consists not in the abundance of the things which he possesses, but in being blessed of the God of heaven and earth. I would not ask for earthly store, thou wilt my need supply, but I would covet, more and more, the clear and single eye, to see my duty face to face, and trust thee, Lord, for daily grace. Then shall my heart keep singing, and well it may. Let them be rich, who will. Those roses may stay where they are, the thorns are too many and sharp. Wait on, there are fairer flowers without briars. They who will be rich will surely pierce themselves through with many sorrows, and fall into many and hurtful lusts, 1 Timothy 6 verses 8 to 10. He who lays up treasures in heaven is the wiser man, and the coming day will declare it. Remember Abraham and Lot. Abraham sought not after flocks and herds, silver and gold and apparel, men servants and maid servants, yet God gave him of all these things abundantly. His eye was single, his body full of light, Matt, 622. God was sought first, other things were added, Matt, 633. Lot, on the contrary, could not keep his eyes off the well-watered plain of Sodom. He coveted it, he sought for more, he got it, he lost all. Unhappy man! Let our choice be to walk with God, and no good thing will he withhold. Perhaps we could not all be trusted with as much as Abraham, not being so single-eyed as he.